Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech View. How are you guys doing today? And in today's video, I'm going to address something with Cricut Wireless that I've addressed in the past, but recently, until recently, I haven't really had to deal with that issue, but now I have. So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoy my content. Go ahead and subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family and comment down below if you've ever had this issue uh, with your phone or any particular carrier. I know that other carriers have this issue as well, but man, the Cricut Wireless hit me on the head with this one. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so what am I talking about? What, 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 what's Magic Tech Review all worried about? What's he all strung up about? All right, well, I'm gonna tell you guys right here, it's, I was actually, on the Moto E5 Supra, and I actually switched over to the um, GT Blade X Max. I usually don't switch out my Cricut SIM card too much, but in this particular case, I let my, my wife use the Moto E5 Supra, so I have the GT Blade X Max as my quote-unquote daily driver on Cricut Wireless. I have Mint SIM in the actually Samsung Galaxy S6 that I'm using right now, and I have the uh, not Minsim, I'm sorry, Unreal Mobile in the Samsung Galaxy S6 that you're seeing me record from. And then I have Minsim in my new mobile G3 Plus, which I'm actually ab absolutely adoring and loving at the moment. It has 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, so that's that. But anyways, on back to the, the uh, Cricut Wireless ZTE Blade X Max. So, I put, you know, I, I takes the card out of my... Moto E5 Supra, and I puts it inside the ZTE Blade X Max, you know, thinking, eh, you know, everything's fine, I, I, you know, I booted up the phone, I didn't have the SIM card inside the phone when I booted it up, you know, so I, I let it all go, and I just said, start as new, and I figured, all right, you know what I'm saying, let's go ahead and throw some, throw some apps and stuff like that on there, so I slide the SIM card in there, right, everything is fine, so I slide the SIM card in there, just to make sure everything's working and then everything's good or whatever and then what I do is I actually restart the phone you know I'm not restart the phone but I um, factory reset the phone so I factory reset the phone and once I factory reset the phone and then I actually told Google to go ahead and put my apps in there that's what all hell broke loose on uh, this ZTE Blade X Max Wow the bloatware is amazing that comes on once you actually start down once you actually once you actually restart these phones and once you actually let Cricut Wireless catch a signal and actually uh you know activate on this phone. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let me tell you guys. Like so many things came up here. I was just amazed at the bloatware and at what they put on your phone. Uh, you know, what, it's one thing to just have it on the phone. Like, I, I understand, you know, back in the day when I was hooking up uh, people for T-Mobile, Verizon, you know, and stuff like that, where they have little things up there like, you know, Verizon helped me and Verizon, uh, you know, look up my minutes, look up my time, Verizon TV, Verizon this, Verizon news, whatever the case may be. No, cricket, cricket boy. Cricket, they are being some sleazy, underhanded company where they're trying to hide the applications from you so you don't know what is what or who is who and how to download things, especially if you're not a seasoned uh, mobile user or, you know, if you're somebody that just hasn't, hasn't been using these, these phones in particularly, like, they, download, they downloaded a calculator up there, you know, and it was like, I'm like, two calculators you know what i'm saying it looks pretty it looks nice but it asks like the calculator is asking me all types of permissions and everything like this and all of a sudden like i i you know I, i'm pressing one plus two and, and you know what i'm saying instead of three coming up an ad comes up i'm like when does one plus two equal an ad i've never heard of that like these people are these people are just like they're just they're, they're out there they're really out there and they really should be ashamed of themselves they have a flashlight app up there when there's literally a flashlight that comes right on the phone, like it's right there, like literally, you go, boom, and then you literally, you hit it, and hit it, boom, flashlight, you know what I'm saying, like, they have a flashlight app up there, 
that comes up there. Uh, after this is now this is all after stuff because once once you actually get through the process, get through the little process where it says you know copy your accounts and everything like that. You're looking at it and then you know you have maybe one or two things up there. You know what I'm saying? But then once Cricket gets a signal and gets starts getting a hold of that phone and that mobile installer thing starts downloading stuff on your phone, you know what I'm saying? You might as you might as well just you know call your phone. Uh, 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 you and then there's so much stuff up there like it's 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 insane it's insane so what you got to do is you literally got to go into your phone and whatever that does not come on that phone you have to take off one by one and you have to make sure you're taking it off because if not you're going to have some type of ads up there uh on your screen on screen ads you're going to have ads on top of your on top of your bar right here, you're gonna have things saying that you know you need to, that your phone is infected, it has a virus. I mean, cricket, how how dare you put these things on customers' phones uh, and put them and have them misled like this? This is just really insane to me. Like you really, cricket, you really sold out to these ads and to these advertisers now. You know, like I see one one thing is just having it on the phone as something extra. And having and having it like in a separate thing where people know where it's at, but to have apps and applications or whatever you want to call them download when you put that SIM card in there is just a whole totally another thing that just I just find is unacceptable. And you know we should tweet at Cricket and we should let them be known and let other people know, especially on the interwebs, <laughs> uh, about this because it's just. Ugh. You know, I didn't know it was this bad. Now, when I, when I was working for Cricket, you know, they had the little farm, you know, little dog farm, um, farm hero saga. They had a little candy crush that would jump up there. Uh, they would have, you know, they would have a, what is it, Crash, Clash Royale. You know, they'd have the, po the popular games up there, which I didn't, you know, when I reviewed, as you can, if you guys can look at my review you, of, of these phones back in the past, you know, I didn't mind those things. Those things, you know, if they're, if they're popular games, if they're trending games, I mean, you know, these people might want to play the games anyway. So it's a cool way, you know, the application, the the people from the application, they get the uh, they get the exposure that they want, you know, and obviously Cricket probably gets a little bit of cut of whatever. But, and look at this kitty, man. This kitty. Now, if this kitty came on your, if this kitty came on your phone, would you delete him or would you keep him? Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. If this kitty, if this kitty came on your phone, would you delete him? Or would you keep him as an application? What if every what if every phone came with a kitty? Anyways, go ahead, cat. I know you want. I know you want to be on video. I know you love. I know you love the camera, buddy. All right. So, yeah. So when I when I worked at Cricket Wireless, I never had this issue whatsoever. Not not to the extent that 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 was. So let me just name off the ones that they actually had. They had a an alarm clock it says alarm clock for me. Uh, al al what is it? Alarm clock for me um, application. Okay, now you you had to accept terms and conditions once you went once you went into this alarm clock thing. Like, accept terms and conditions. What? Okay, so they had so they had that right. Then they had like I don't know what what happened, but I got hit like a, with a with a smorgasbord or or like a just a. An avalanche of applications on my particular phone. I don't know if I maybe I haven't switched over to another phone in recent time or whatever, but does this happen to everybody? So I had flashlight app, I had a calendar app, that calendar for me, I had an alarm clock for me, I had Yelp, I had CNN download. CNN? What the hell? Like, okay. Uh, I had some other news things, some Republic. So I had CNN, Republic. Um, I had Final Fantasy download. I had Pet Pet Hero Saga, and I had I had some other news thing going on. So I had like three or four different news things going on. All tell me about how how Trump is terrible, <laughs> and I don't know, dude. I'm like I I had like all in all, I had like twelve different apps download onto my phone and i'm guaranteeing you that that stuff is using your data you know right off the bat so you're losing probably a good gig of data 
on just stuff that Cricket's downloading to your phone. So it's like they, if you're on the cheaper plan, it's like they want to just take away your gig just like that with the applications that, 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 that they downloaded to your phone through other people and that they're getting paid behind the scenes. So just so you guys know, they're getting paid behind the scenes for these applications that are getting paid up, put on your phone. So hopefully this cleared up any type of misconception or anything like that or, you know, if you're getting some some uh, things on your phone, it's not the, the fault of the manufacturer, it's the fault of the actual, you know, of Cricket Wireless actually allowing this crap to be put onto their phones once it's activated. Anyways, guys, this has been John from Magic Tech Review. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. Like I said, uh, this has probably been a live uh, thing that I went, that I had. So thank you guys for everybody that's been commenting down in the live chat. I do appreciate that. Uh, this channel will be live streaming uh, in a couple of months. I can't live stream for right now. So go ahead and subscribe to my other uh, live streaming channel, MTR Games Live. So I have been commenting down below. So go ahead and click that down below as well. And it'll be in the first uh, description and the first uh, comment as well. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. This has been John from Magic Tech Review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Careful with them ads, man. And the, and the apps. They'll get you. They'll get you, boy. They'll get you. Rawr. Hey, listen. Uh.